We begin our in-depth team coverage now with Caroline Flynn at Juvenile Court. That's where the young man is being held tonight. And Caroline, uh, you have been reviewing all these court documents uh, throughout the day that give us more detail about what happened yesterday. What can you tell us? Nadine, one of the biggest things we learned is that 15-year-old Caleb Sharp did not target anyone specifically yesterday. He told investigators he had come to the school to teach everyone a lesson about what happens when you bully others. What you are hearing are the first calls from dispatch to get help to Freeman High School. The shooter may be on the second level. Suspect in his team, 57160 glasses. <laughs> Five minutes later, officers had reached a detained Caleb Sharp. Five minutes. What could you do in five minutes? Eat a meal? Drive to the store? Tell someone how much you love them? What would you do? Freeman High Schooler Jaden Wallet would go back and question his friend just a little bit more. I saw him walk up the stairs and uh, I asked him what was in his duffel bag. You know, what's in your duffel bag? He didn't say anything. Court documents reveal after Sharp went up those stairs, he began to load his assault rifle, which jammed. At that time, fellow student Sam Strahan bravely approached Sharp and said, I always knew you were going to shoot up the school. Sharp then pulled a handgun from his coat and shot Strahan twice, killing him. He then indiscriminately started firing, striking three other classmates who thankfully are now recovering in the hospital. Freeman High School janitor Joe Bowen saw an opportunity when the pistol jammed and ordered Caleb to lay down on the floor until deputies arrived. We now know that the 15-year-old was in the care of school counselors for suicidal ideations. He proudly bragged to friends that he owned pistols and made explosives. He told officers he had got the guns from his father's gun safe, and his dad admitted he had the combination. What we don't know is how bad those five minutes would have been if that gun hadn't jammed, if the janitor hadn't stepped in and stopped him. It was in just four and a half minutes that 27 lives lives were lost at Sandy Hook Elementary School. Now, Sharp was supposed to appear in court today, but because of a motion to try him as an adult, that appearance has been postponed to September 26th. Live outside of the Spokane County Courthouse, Caroline Flynn, KXOY4 News. Thank you, Caroline.